I've got this young horse and I'm just teaching her how to have a positive response to yielding from the halter and also then the nose. So I'm going to start with under the halter and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to lift my energy and just ask her to come back. Now, there's quite a lot of resistance in that or nothing's happening. So this is where I will bring my stick in and just create some energy on a chest because I'm not wanting to go harder on the pressure on the halter. So when I pick up the halter like that, there, there that was actually a, weight, a good weight shift. The halter, the pressure goes across the nose. So she's actually learning how to follow a feel backwards from the pressure on her nose, preparing her to be ridden. So when I pick up, I want to have that nice soft feel, bring my energy up and just wait a moment. If nothing happens, then I'm going to just add some energy at her chest because she's quite sensitive and then release the pressure. And I would actually like her to relax and soften at the end of all my yields, not just do the yield and tune out. And that won't happen um, straight away. But if I keep consistently asking her to relax and soften in the yield at the end, then she'll start to say really soft and relaxed in all my communications. I do it once more, pick up, life up, lift, create some energy because she doesn't know how to yield off that nice there and relax. And that was nicer at the end, she softened. So I'll bring her forward in between the yields and then we can go on and work on a steady pressure yield on the nose. I'm not gonna spend too long in each yield each time I come back to it, it should be softer.